What is up, Sexy Beast? Bald NPC here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Ripsaw on the Dankest Shore and seeing what it can do on round 50. So let's go ahead and get this shit started. So in this footage, I did not have the Ripsaw fully upgraded. I had it like semi chubbed upgraded. When I recorded this footage, we did not know how to officially fully upgrade it, like putting it in the pack punch machine and everything. We only had it upgraded to the part where like you can actually start shooting the things. And I gotta say, if I ever do actually go to high rounds again on this map, I'm not gonna fully upgrade it. It's just a hassle and I don't feel like doing it, and it really doesn't get that much better. Honestly, from what I've seen, just the regular Ripsaw, not even the version that shoots anything, is actually the best for high rounds. But I thought I would go and show you guys probably the Ripsaw that majority of people are actually gonna be dealing with. So this Ripsaw is kind of a disappointment as like a wonder weapon. I really can never see myself using a melee wonder weapon to get to high rounds. It's just way too risky, especially with this Ripsaw. The different types of melees you have are going to leave you extremely vulnerable. Like in this footage, I almost died. And it also got me stuck, but we're not going to talk about that. It just makes you stop moving, and really anything that makes you stop moving is not very good because those zombies are just going to swarm on top of you and will probably eventually down you. So for high rounds, unless like you're in a glitch, I just really don't see meleeing the best and fastest strategy or the safest whatsoever. And when you actually shoot the saws, it's really not that good either. You're not going to be killing an entire group of 24 or anything like that. You're definitely going to be able to get some kills on high rounds. I believe this weapon does like infinite amount of damage. Or if not, it does a very, very significant amount of damage because it was taking out some zombies pretty easily on round 51, but it was not taking out like a train of them or anything like that. So to me, the Ripsaw isn't really that good of a wonder weapon. If you really want to make the Ripsaw good, make it like a one-hit KO against the big guys because I believe even fully upgraded, it's still not a one-hit kill on those guys, which is very, very disappointing. Or at least the footage that I've seen, it is not. Maybe they actually did patch it up or something like that. But if you really want to make this weapon a useful weapon for high rounds, make it one-hit KO the Whistler Zombies or Whistler Zombies, whatever they're called, and one-hit KO that Spider-Man Zombie. If you do that, I think this thing would be very useful. But as of now, I just see myself using traps, using the M1911 and the 9mm SAP, and that's going to be my go-to, unless you want to glitch out and then just spam the unupgraded Ripsaw and just melee zombies to death. That's always an option as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And real quick, I want to say shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. You guys don't understand how much I love you guys. So thank you so much. And also, while I have you here, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Once we get to 5,000 followers on Twitter, I'll start doing some giveaways and stuff. So if you would like some free stuff, make sure you guys go check that out. And lastly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.